welcome back. Now I'm looking at the third option in AL. I've done two previous videos. Have a look at my playlist. I've done my map. I've done whiteboards. Now whiteboards kind of integrates into taskboards as well. But I'm going to show you taskboards separate entity anyway. But click on it for me, and then you can choose a taskboard you want. So we've got blank canvas, create workflow, or create Gantt timeline, depending on how you want to work. And again, as I said with the previous videos, it's some really good templates to work with and point you in the right direction. But I'm going to select, as I always do, the first option. And let's pop in a subject there. Let's pop in a subject there. Or mistypes and it does it for you. Short description there and select create taskboard. Now we are good to go. Now again, we've got nothing in there. If you saw my previous videos, this kind of integrates anyway, but I want to do this separate in case you just want to work with taskboards. Click category, choose a color. So I'm going to use green. So pop in a subject. So we know it's geography. Let's put UK, select that. That's my first option. Now I'm going to add another category. Let's pop Spain in, make that red. Add. Let's pop a few more in. And another one. And there you go, just some random countries I've thrown in there to work with as we're doing geography. Now I'm ready. If I click on them, so we've got the edit button here. So click edit. Again, you can change the color or delete that if you want. So now we need to add tasks to our categories. So I'm going to add task. So first task might be maybe statistics on Madrid. What category I'm going to add that to is going to be Spain and click add. So there's my first task within Spain. And again, I could do that for example with Norway, couldn't I? So just add task. Choose your category and pop that into Norway and click add. And last one, we'll just do it quickly, America. Might as well finish them all off. Task. And again, choose your category, click add, and UK. And click add. And there we go got some options to work with now drag it in because I didn't actually put in a category did I now I've got something to work with again let's push that in the middle use the move button so you can position them exactly where you want as well come up the top and do layout collapse all if you don't actually want to see the tasks in the middle double tap it brings them up anyway for you as so let's go with are our government corrupt? When you click on it, come to the right, you've got various information again. Now I did touch this, I did touch upon this on the last video, but I'll just go over it quickly with you. I had an image in there quickly, so I'll do a quick search. And then I'm gonna grab, double tap that, and it attaches itself to my task in the middle. Then I'm gonna start adding the information. So I'm going to work with or completed. Let's just say it was completed. And that will archive it. Let's go to the next one. Again, you can add all your information here, including notes, comments. So for example, I might want to add a quick note in there. And again, you can add attachments from your computer, or anything that might be relevant by clicking add. You can add a website as well. So you can add a website in there. Let's just pop anything in. And then you click add and also you can tap this you click on it you can add maybe a file could be a, a journal a word document an excel file anything you want from your computer to also link it to your canvas option then you've got your list really handy this checklist by the way because you can do list specifically what you need to do for that that topic click enter key And once you've added them, you can then tick them off when they're done as well later on. So you can keep on top of each each topic and task. Go to more again. You select a few tasks activity. It will bring you up all the activity you've done with that task. That's really handy though when you're actually sharing it with someone else and collaborating. Come back out of there. 
don't forget though in info again like i did in my previous videos if you need to to fill in these options here such as progress status it's in automatic onto progress because i've moved it and then set start date i'll do a quick one already so start date and due date for that topic information and select set due date and there we go that's working straight from canvas mode but if you come up now we can then jump like we did before to gank times line urgency lester archive but if you watched my previous video it will show you how to do that anyway so what i'm going to do now is something we haven't seen top left hand corner click the three horizontal lines and we've got a few options here so one is calendar so if i come along here i might go right that one's done i can archive that task get rid of that it's archived out of the way this one's still working now look due to more the 85 percent but then what i could do is i could click the task button and i could do what i'm working on world peace or geography let's do geography category i'm working on say usa today set due date and click set I can add that to my calendar just give the task a name and click add and here it is 12 but if I drag it I can drag it twenty six and you can see as I drag it the date changes twenty fourth twenty second as well. And you just double tap back on it and work on it on the right if you need to change the dates as well so that's a great way to work with your canvas and tasks and that in a more of a calendar view if you need to now we'll come back top left hand corner again i'm going to select quickly my planner and it's kind of straightforward but you might want to work with this it's called now next or soon so you look at now you're working on that but next you might go ahead in this unplanned task option better got one already there that you can drag in the position you want but as we know it's been done now let's go to the middle and if you double tap quickly you can bring up a task to do as well if you need to and as many of them as you want and again you can drag them where you want them into position double tap on it remember you can add all your information here on the right with info including your set start date set due date so it's really good for when you've got revision to do or maybe a dissertation for example so many different options you can work with that so there you go there's a quick overview of using AO there's a lot more to it but I just want to get just want to get you up and running quickly on it so then you can start playing around with it thanks for watching